Tonight, Mesa Public Schools is discussing bringing kids back to the classroom five days a week, Jared. So under the current plan, students could opt to learn fully in person by October 12th. Brittany Thomason joining us live from Mesa, where parents are giving their thoughts to the school board tonight. Brittany. Inside this board meeting, they are social distancing, so not everyone is allowed inside. There's actually quite a few people out here in their cars waiting to speak during public comments. And then take a look out here. You can see there are several groups of people waiting out here, sitting in lawn chairs outside the door simply because there's not enough room for them to be inside that board meeting. Here's a look at the plan that stands currently for Mesa Public Schools. Although this is not a done deal, this would let students fully go back to in-person learning after fall break if all benchmarks are met. This means the district would need to be in the yellow category for community spread and public health metrics would have to stay lower than 6% positivity for two consecutive weeks. Currently, kids with Mesa Public Schools can work fully online or choose a hybrid option. That's where they split their time between learning and person and virtually. The district says the hybrid option would go away, but kids could skip the classroom and learn fully online with the plan. Here's what parents have to say. I'm very confident that COVID is going to spike and then they're going to be all sent home. And I don't want that. I saw what happened with my own children. Um, you know, teenagers need that social interaction. And I saw what happened after spring break last year with no interaction at all. I don't want that to happen again. I think that's what they're used to. They need to get back to their lives. I mean, this is what they do. They know this is what they know. It's, they need to be around other kids. They need to socialize. They need to be physically in front of their teachers. I mean, they learn the best. Public comment is expected to start soon, and the board could still make modifications to this plan, especially with COVID numbers constantly changing. Reporting live in Mesa, Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.